the next topic is flume here you can see that flume is like here we have conversion then this is your narrow part and then again we will be having diversion part okay so i think that flume part you better you refer to one cell okay where you can find out the uh, clear diagram okay this is little bit some advanced method which is not in a syllabus but still we can discuss here okay so we have a equation to find out the discharge through an open channel using flume okay so don't worry in the next class i'll give you a proper diagram of the flume so that it will better or you can understand better okay so now you can just write down the equation for flume okay Okay, you just write down this expression that is 2 by 3 twice g to the power half cbh okay b is the width of the flume section c is the coefficient of discharge okay and h we all know that is head the total head Okay, so we discussed a little bit about hydraulic structure. So we have two type of hydraulic structure. One is diversion and one is storage. Okay. If you see here, okay. so storage structure. See, we usually construct dam and then we store water in a reservoir. So those structure, hydraulic structure, are called storage structure. For example, a a dam. Okay. So when we construct a dam, we basically we are going to store water in a reservoir for multi-purpose. One very basic is or most common is hydropower. Then for irrigation, navigation, okay. Or we use sometimes dam as a flood control structure also. Okay. So when we construct a dam for multi-purpose. And we store water in the reservoir so those structure are called storage structure okay or the second case is a diversion structure which may be a wire or a barrier that rises the water level river slightly
so you can write down the definition okay that one is storage structure and one is your diversion structure in diversion structure we are not going to store water we are only going to divert the water for various pro process uh, purpose maybe it for irrigation maybe for hydropower okay it depends but we are not going to store water only we raise the level of water and we divert the water flow of water okay so this is your diversion structure okay so in storage structure it requires a very high construction and high cost okay so it's a very large structure those are storage structure and as compared to the storage structure divergent structure are very small okay as compared to your storage structure so you can write down the definition of storage structure and diversion structure You just write only the definition, okay? You need not to elaborate. Over. then we move on to this diagram okay you can see here the river is coming from a hilly area okay so we are constructing dam first okay and when we construct dam then we store water in the reservoir okay so this is our storage structure okay you can see storage structure dam it's written there so when we construct a dam then we are going to release some amount of water in the downstream end okay and we store maximum amount of water in the upstream okay then we use this amount of water for as a flood control for hydropower okay so in various point of view okay then 
see we have releasing some amount of water to the downstream and then we have constructed another one that is your this okay this this is your hydraulic structure or you can say diversion structure here we are not going to store water only we lift or we increase the height of the uh, sorry level of the water and then we divert the flow through this point okay maybe for irrigation purpose or some other purpose okay so this is your storage structure and this is your diversion structure so we have two types of structure okay so here we have a road So this diagram you can see that combination of both storage structure and your diversion structure okay so you can construct any one or you can construct both also depending on the available of water and the purpose we need to fulfill okay so always remember in storage structure we construct an obstruction and then we store water in the reservoir in the upstream end and in diversion we only rise the water level and then we divert through canal okay for various purposes it depends okay it may be your hydropower it may be for irrigation Okay, so you can write down this table which shows difference between wire and barrage.
so you write down the difference between wire and barrels okay so like wire we have low cost in barrels we require high cost okay Okay. So you just uh, write down the difference between wire and barrage. Okay. You write down this table. Okay. Over. So we continue in the next class, okay? Then uh, for we have flume, then we have also sluice gate, and we have also another one is your uh, dam break problem. Just an introduction, okay? What is dam break problem? So we discuss those things in the next class, okay? So thank you students.